Immigration is an incredibly divisive issue which lawmakers have been unable or at times unwilling to solve for years. Many political leaders today condemned what Governor DeSantis did, but some believe he made the right move. WBZ's Tiffany Chan continues our team coverage tonight. She's live from the State House. Tiffany. David, and we're seeing some of that political finger pointing now with Massachusetts Democrats, some of them slamming the GOP for using migrants, human lives for political theater. But I did speak with the Republican Party here. They're saying that this is a clear example as to why President Biden needs to secure the border. The party chairman, Jim Lyons, telling us that taxpayers should be the most concerned here because they will be the ones footing the bill to house and to find resources for these migrants that ended up on Martha's Vineyard from red states like Florida. Florida and Texas. But Democrats are fighting back. One congressman from Massachusetts saying that he's not happy with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis sending these migrants to an island that's already pressed for resources and housing. Take a listen. You have one Republican governor in uh, Florida uh, craving, you know, just cravenly seeking the limelight at any cost, competing against other uh, governors, not even with an original idea, by the way, with one of his competitors. And, and uh, using taxpayer money for private chartered jets uh, to bring uh, 50 women, and men, and children uh, to an island that doesn't have housing for the people that work there uh, for a political stunt. I, I think it's uh, the Massachusetts taxpayers should really be outraged at the unwillingness of President Biden to do his job. He has a job to do, which is to secure the borders. And what we're seeing is the outcome of his lack of leadership on securing the borders is a real simple solution. Secure the borders and these problems will go away. And both Republicans and Democrats here in Massachusetts are looking at Governor Baker for his next steps. He's suggesting possibly housing these migrants at a Cape Cod military base. Outside of the State House in Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News. All right.